All right, I just got the last spot on that row done. And uh, hmm, this, this floor up here is now six feet high. And I'm thinking I might just want to put a dome on top of here because that dome way over there will roughly fit on top of what's here right now. You know, this probably looks deceptively small compared to that thing over there. But that's actually slightly smaller. But if I if I made one, I could, you know, stretch it a little. And I'm wondering if I can use, I use like burlap and concrete and put it on the mold here. These are the molds that I used to build that dome and make like thin shell concrete pieces that I can just put up there. And then I can put more layers on top once it's all up there to make it stronger. So if I get that to work, the top could go really fast. It would be a really nice shape. Uh, the thing is, I'll have to make concrete pieces that are thin enough that I can lift them so they're not too heavy, but strong enough that they hold their shape. All right, so this is my rolls of burlap, I think. I haven't actually looked in here in like two months since I bought this stuff. Yeah. Huh, I think that'll make really nice reinforcement, but it may be difficult to make a, a thin shell that I can pick up and move because there's all these spaces between the holes where bits can crack out of. Well, I was thinking of using this technique for like the window covers and the door covers. So maybe I'll just start with a little test on that first. Whew, this is the dome piece molds. When I do these, I don't have to start all the way at the bottom. I come up a couple feet. I don't have to go all the way to the top either because I want a bigger hole in the top. But it's going to be like 40 square feet of uh, concrete. So it's 40 square feet of concrete, thin enough that I can reasonably lift it and get it into position by myself. Oh, it's getting pretty high up there though. I'm going to have to. I'm gonna have to hold the thing like over my head and lift it. Arr. Well, whatever. Let's try a try a window cover first. See how that goes. This is a thin shell cement test I did uh, over a year ago, and it's a sheet of what's it called fiberglass and then cement on it, and it's flexible and strong. And I beat it up a lot, that's why the corners are chewed up, because I was, you know, testing it. But even after a year and a half of getting thrown around and beaten up, it's still holding its shape. I made my circle windows a little bigger than these buckets, so that I could put something around this bucket, take it off, and then stick it in there. I'm wondering if I put paper, because I have lots of newspaper, around the bucket. That one, it'll help it from sticking to the bucket. And two, the paper will help hold the concrete that's in between all these uh, square spaces. Ah, get out of here, dude. Hey, Aku, move it. Hmm, I'm thinking this might not be the easiest thing to start with. This is going to have to wrap all the way around the bucket. It's not like I can just lay it on. So I'm... Ah, I took a little bit of wrestling, but I got it on there. I didn't get it around the bottom, but I got it on, you know, most of the top, no problem. Probably three quarters of the way around. And I don't know why anyone would ever want to have dreadlocks. Man, these things are pain in the butt. Anyway, it looks like I can put this on a surface pretty easily. So, uh, doing these... These window pieces, if I can get a mold 
that's shaped like that and just lay it down and then I should be able to put it on, take it off and get it in there and then do the seam at the end. Well I won't worry about the doors right now, I can reach those easily. And there's ducks behind that one right now so I don't want to mess with that. But uh, the windows up here, I definitely want to get those in before I go up from here because I'll be able to reach over and kind of mortar them in. But once that goes up, I won't be able to get to it easily. And I do have the piece of metal I used to make this shape here. Yeah, that thing. I right, don't fall through the floor. Ooh. I think I hear the lunch bell. I was also just thinking I could mold this satellite dish. I, I got the satellite dish, you know, in the garbage at town, like a lot of other things. But I got it so I could set ones up on the different islands so that you could talk. Because, you know, if you, if you set it up aiming at another island and then stand in the right spot here and there's one over there and you stand in the right spot over there, you can, you can talk back and forth like you're right next to each other. So I want to set those up all over the place. Although it's not super high priority yet. Oh man, good shape, Jamie. All right, now if I put a strip here and a strip here, make them fatter at the top, skinnier at the bottom, then I'll have skinnier pieces sticking out here, they'll get fatter up at the top, and then Two pieces, one on each side. Ooh, I'm feeling optimistic about this. You know what, I'm about to cut my pieces here. But I think this is gonna be easier to cut after the concrete's on it. I'll just take an angle grinder. So I'll just cut out a big rectangle and then take an angle grinder with a diamond wheel and cut out the right shaped pieces. Oh, and at the end, I'll end up with a bunch of like triangle shaped pieces I'll probably be able to do something with. Ooh, nice. Okay. Two rolls, I can roll out onto that now. Soaks up a lot. Huh. Well, I hope this turns out good. Looks like it's going to be strong. That thing's about a centimeter thick. So I should be able to calculate 
the total volume of one of those dome pieces and then calculate the weight from that. See if it's something I can reasonably lift without breaking it or breaking myself or everything else. Blah, 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 blah. All right, cover it up so it won't dry out. Do I post this video today or do I wait for results?